Uh, welcome to Device Rose Berlin. We have a Metal Live Show event tonight and EXA, the headliner band of tonight. First of all, guys, uh, could you tell me a bit about EXA? Uh, hi, yeah, uh, we are EXA and the drummer sitting right beneath. <laughs> um, we are a German Berlin fresh metal band, like the more older stuff, 80s, so Slayer, Megadeth, Exodus, Testament, Metallica. Yeah, uh, we're four guys. Um, drums by Leon, rhythm guitar and lead guitar by Hans, um, bass and backing vocals by Tamino, and vocals and guitar by me, Tom. Okay, and how did the band get started? Oh, that's a funny story. Um, <laughs> it's a story I had to tell uh, so many people, so uh, I'm used to it. Um, it started as a school band between uh, us two, I don't know, <laughs> the two of us, yeah. And um, yeah, it's um, the funny thing about this, it is um, that I started playing guitar when I came into the band, so I didn't even know how to hold the guitar when we started and we were about 14 or 15. And uh, yeah, we built, it, we built this band on, um, on this uh, fundament, so yeah. Um, and through guitar here. <laughs> and, and I learned guitar then uh, through Guitar Hero, so um, yeah. Um, it took a long time before we got there where we are now, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it's, where it's going to be in the future. Okay, and uh, what kind of music were you playing in the beginning if you just first grab a guitar? <laughs> ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so we started to play, I guess, one of the first riffs. He learned on guitar at this time. I've played the drums and changed later. Um, I guess it was like Breaking the Law by Judas Priest, because funny riff to start. And then, so some classics like Smoke on the Water, Seven Nation Army. So, the really beginning of guitar playing and just drums like this. Um, and later, it, we started to cover Metallica songs because it was the band for us, uh, like Seek and Destroy. The cover from Metallica, Am I Evil, um, from the Belt Halls. We tried to do some Megadeth stuff, but it was a little bit hard at the time. <laughs> I guess it was Tornado of Souls, something like that. Um, but we tried. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and uh, as I said, you are headlining here tonight. Uh, what are your expectations? I'm not really familiar with this venue. Mm. So, because of because it's our first time playing here in Weißerhose, we can't expect what it will be, but we hope to see some furious mosh pits <laughs> <laughs> and maybe some wall of deaths or something. Or I think there are many people who already heard about our name, so they know something about, okay, Exa, I feared the, the band, so now they will see us. and. We will see whether we will catch them or not. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, there are some people out there, so I guess in the venue fits 600. I guess we maybe reach 400 today. I don't know. And the organization said that it's really good for the place. Um, so we played Metal Hammer Paradise last month, and it was a hall of the same size nearly. So I think it's going to be more fun because the audience is a little bit younger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, the gig you mentioned, that was a competition of bands, right? Right. And yeah. you happened to win it, am I correct? Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, could you, can you tell me a bit about that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so we um, tried to get the gig and there was this contest, the whole thing, and we somebody tagged me on this that we are in a f one of the final bands. I guess it's what five bands, and we tried nearly everything. Every guy we met on the street, <laughs> we asked, and of course our fans. But it was like if we get ten percent, they get twenty. When one band was with a record label in there, that was not really the rule. So the rule was only newcomer bands without record label or anything. And after all, uh, in the last week we were, I don't know, the 
fourth or third place, and we just oh, fucked it. Okay, we fucked up. And when the uh, final answer came, they said that we have been winning the game because the other bands all have. Not all of them. Okay, the bands that have the most voices, uh, votes, they. They, they betray. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we got more than more than a quarter, I think, of all the voices. Yeah, and then we were happy. <laughs> okay. So it was just like uh, like a voting contest, uh, which band will get the most votes, and the one band like gave a, like an Indian guy or from Turkey, we don't know like a hundred bucks or something to get uh, 1,000 fake votes. Okay. And after all, the competition said, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> EXA will win because they tried to cheat. And yeah, because we got the same opportunity. So some guy from India and some guy from, I don't know. Turkey. Tur I think, yeah. They wrote to us through Facebook and said, yeah, give me 100 bucks and you will win the contest. And we were like, no, fuck! <laughs> no, we don't betray you! Yeah. yeah, and that how we win the contest. <laughs> okay, well, congratulations. Uh, Thanks. So, uh, I read that uh, you play a new wave of German trash metal. Uh, could you elaborate a bit of uh, that genre? Um, yeah, it's like um, in 2000. 11 or I don't know, 12 when the whole Dust Bowl thing and so started. So we got many fresh metal bands in the Bavarian area of Germany and they got their tours and everything. And it was like you got the old wave of fresh metal like in the 80s, so Metallica, Slayer and so on. Then you got this in kind of a new wave in about 2010 in this time. You guys from Berlin Space Chaser, for example. But <laughs> Uh, even there are now in their 30s and we are 20 so we are the new wave after a new wave <laughs> yeah uh, also you are not exactly hiding the fact that uh, you are from Berlin uh, how important is this city for the band and you guys <laughs> we are proud to be Berlin's and <laughs> <laughs> okay. so I think I will talk for every one of us except maybe for Hans, <laughs> um, but I, I don't, you know, everyone knows Berlin, so you can, you say, I'm from Berlin, doing fresh metal, ah, oh, yeah, Berlin. Germany, Berlin, Berlin Germany. Germany. so when we say we come from Buxtehude, they don't know yeah. where, what the fuck, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm, okay, and yeah, we're from the, we are all from the eastern part of Berlin, so that's like, I know there was not in the GDR that much metal, but our parents are all from there, so it's kind of, you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got something behind this whole thing to make us more interest. yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay, and uh, how is the debut album coming along? The new album? Uh, yeah. Um, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you're talking about how it's going to be? Uh, yeah, you are already recording, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and um, we uh, have our EP already, and you can uh, listen to it in Sp uh, uh, Spotify and uh, YouTube. And um, these four songs on uh, on there uh, are songs that are very old, and our new record uh, will include uh, our latest songs. And um, when you listen to that uh, record, you will actually know how we uh, sound live because the EP is um, has our classics, <laughs> if, you, if you want to. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a mixture of everything. It's, uh, it has a lot of fresh moments in it and a lot of groove moments. And um, we actually uh, like um, that variety. So uh, we hope to fulfill it in, uh, with a good quality and. We'll see. I am very hopeful about this record. Okay, uh, things seem to go seem to be going pretty good for you at the moment. Uh, what's happening with Exa in 2019? That's a good question. Um, we'll we'll release our records, and 
We hope to um, still have a lot of huge gigs like uh, like this one or the one on the Midlamer Paradise, and uh, we'll see where the uh, where we go. And I hope it won't get any uh, any more little than this. I, I like it actually that we uh, have gigs like Metal Hammer. I have I have heard of it. It's it's something. So yeah, uh, I like the mo uh, I like the thing that's going at the moment. Yeah, but he knows a lot more of this. So <laughs> yeah, I doing the most of the booking. So um, yeah, we will try to finish the record. It's more than a half is done. Uh, we got the drums, we got the most of the rhythm guitars, vocals are nearly complete finished, uh, bass is nearly complete finished, and then it will go to the mix in Sweden, I think. Uh, we'll get it back in January, around about this, and we'll hopefully, hopefully put it out in March. And we try to get a record deal, but we heard from other bands that it's, nowadays it's not maybe the best uh, option to get a record deal, because yeah, record label sucks. <laughs> um, but we try. If there is a good uh, opportunity for us to join a record label, like the big ones, Nuclear Blast, Napalm Records, I don't know, uh, that would be cool. And so we try to do some festivals next year. We try to be part of the Wacken Metal Battle. But I don't know if this works. We just sent a message to them and they said, okay, we will look and see. I don't know. Yeah, more festivals, more gigs. And a uh, fantastic new album, hopefully. <laughs> okay, um, how hard is it nowadays for a uh, fresh new band out there? Um, I guess it's harder than in the 80s. That, what the most people say is that you got nowadays much more bands than in the 80s, maybe in the 90s too. Because when you, go, when you just see who is playing today in Berlin, you got maybe 20, 25 shows of metal bands. And then other hard rock stuff, so it's um, it's harder to be the band that people want to see and to find the right, what Hans said, find the right uh, fusion because uh, between some heavy stuff, but not that heavy that it's all the time. It used to be some there used to be some groove and maybe a hit potential, but not that sold out thing. Yeah. Stay heavy, but so, uh, no sold out. Um, one more thing is uh, like thrash metal is like from the 80s, maybe 90s, and nowadays they're all like uh, metalcore, deathcore, and so on. And so mostly the young people are listening to them, like Fire Artist Murder, or I don't know. And so that's why it's difficult to. Uh, to do something new, something special, maybe. But I think with our uh, matching parts of fresh and groove and every what we want to do is it's a good way to maybe set a new way of metal, even yeah. Okay, and what about the metal scene here in your city? How is the Berlin's metal scene? <laughs> <laughs> Um, from the guys that are here today, I know a lot of people. Um, what should I say? Like Tamino said, you got not that much younger people that listen to straight metal. They're more in the metalcore, deathcore scene. Like Tamino and Leon, our drummer, they all both like metalcore, metal, hardcore, deathcore, I don't know. Um, they like it. But I think the scene is not that. But I think it was bigger once. <laughs> okay. okay, thanks a lot guys and uh, break a leg tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much.